Egotast. Oh no. A quantum. No. Talk in the Orville. I did it. Hey gang, welcome back to Talk in the Orville Car Time Edition. Think. Goodness, the weather has finally changed. It is no longer summer. It's cool outside. Yes, I am wearing long sleeves again. I feel so warm and cozy inside of my ego mobile, you guys. Uh, but we have important stuff to talk about. Where the hell is the Orville season four renewal? We need more Orville. People loved New Horizons. They loved season three. It got so much of the numbers that TV producers want. Uh, it's still in the top, tippity top of Hulu originals right now. People love it. People want it. Uh, Star Trek fans, uh, lifelong Star Trek fans are saying, I love this even more. The Orville is the more better of the sci-fi series. And I'm talking about New Star Trek, I'm talking about all Star Trek. The stuff you grew up with, you guys. Uh, the same is true for me. As much as I love the next generation more than anybody else, it's a part of who I am. It's a part of my DNA. The Orville uh, has taken me over. Uh, my DNA now runs uh, <laughs> Union Central Blue, you guys. Uh, but we have not yet gotten that official news of a renewal. The show has not been canceled. The series is still alive and is still doing very well uh, all around the world. Uh, even Seth MacFarlane says so. He posted something the other day about how uh, the Orville is uh, is alive and well. You know, I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember exactly what he said. There's a lot of internet out there to read, you guys. Um, but we have not gotten that uh, thing that we want, uh, another season announcement, which will then lead to another season uh, being shown on our screens, you guys. Something for us to enjoy together. Where is it? When are we going to hear about it one way or another? Um, I think the prospects of a renewal is, is totally going to happen. And I'm not being hopeful. Uh, you do not get rid of something so loved, so important, so needed in this world, the Orville makes people better. Um, it gives us not only something to think about, but it lets us uh, stop worrying about our own problems for uh, uh, one episode at a time, which the world desperately, desperately needs right now, is people to stop thinking about themselves and think about other things. More important things, yes, more important things than our than our own little lives on this little blue planet uh, out in space in our little tiny galaxy amongst billions of more galaxies. Uh, our little problems uh, don't seem to be as important when you think about it in that way. Uh, but hey, we're back with car time videos, and I'm very excited about that because these are my favorite videos to make uh, to to communicate with you guys. And one thing I do want to know, now that we've had time since uh, season three has ended, it's been, what, a month and a half, something like that, uh, since we finished New Horizons, what is your favorite episode? I want to know, and I know it's hard, there's a lot of amazing episodes, not only series-wide, but in New Horizons where everything was uh, updated quality-wise, story-wise, uh, explosions, pew pews in the backgrounds going on, in the front grounds going on wise. What was your favorite episode of the Orville New Horizons? For me, and this is really, really hard because, wow. I mean, you guys know how hard this is. Um, I might have to go with, I mean, so many great episodes. Gently Falling Rain, A Tale of Two Topas, Future Unknown. Uh, Domino, wow, I have to say, I think twice in a lifetime, where Gordon uh, travels back in time, uh, uh, gets all jiggy with it with Laura, has a, has a family, and they have to save him from the stupid time 
stuff going on. They had to save save him from all the problems that he caused, which weren't really problems, but they probably would end up being problems. He found Laura. He he had a family with her, but in the original timeline, she was was going to be with somebody else and have other children with that other person and have a family, and that was all erased because of Gordon. So they had to to get him. That might be my favorite, though. Mortality paradox. Oh, this the story on that one. The ideas being presented in that one. The follow up uh, with the multiphasic people uh, w was absolutely amazing. So that is a big runner up for me, even though it's just the third episode and every episode got better than the last. Uh, I think my favorite, the one I think about the most, is Twice in a Lifetime. Now, one episode uh, from the season that I don't think is anybody's top episode, though it was a great episode, but it was kind of just a, hey, here's a, a, a fun little genre we can explore with the Orville, I think is Shadow Realms with the Arachnid people. Now, we need to know a lot more about these people. Are we going to run into them again? The ones that we saw were just kind of babies. They are not very powerful, but those Arachnids do have four different phases of development, and they get stronger and stronger with each development. So how bad do these things get? Uh, what are they doing out there in that, that little uh, krill area, that area of space past the krills uh, area of space? Uh, we need to learn a lot more about that. There's a lot of things that need to be followed up on uh, in another season besides just the arachnids. We need to still find out what's going on with the Mocklin and Krill uh, union. Uh, we know Mocklins are dicks when it comes to, to women. Why? Where did that come from? I want to know about Mock, Mock, Mocklin development. How did they become uh, such jerks towards the opposite sex, which they barely even recognize exists? Uh, what's going to happen with Sanctuary, with Havina's Sanctuary? What's going to happen with uh, Ed's child, uh, uh, Anaya, gently falling rain, translated if you know your krill. Um, what's going to happen with her? What's going to happen? Did our Ed and Kelly going to make a go of it again? Is Does it work out? Does it not work out? How is Isaac and Claire's union going now that Isaac is a family robot man? Uh, there's so many things left in this universe to explore. Uh, this, as, as Mark Jackson told me, the story is not over yet. And uh, so let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite episode of the Orville Season 3, New Horizons? What are you looking forward to learning more about in Season 4, which I think the show will get renewed. I think it'll get renewed sometime this year is when we'll learn about it, when they'll make the announcement. And, uh, and then once that happens, we're going to have a lot to talk about. Uh, until the new season arrives, and a hell of a lot more to talk about, H-E double hockey stick, uh, when the show does arrive, new episodes, new adventures, uh, you can keep it right here, we are here, I am here for this community, for this show, for this universe created by Seth McFarlane, and I am so excited to bring you guys with me, because we love talking about this show, I'll see you very soon, and remember... We all do better when we all do better. Love you.